Hello everyone! It is a special day today. It is not because it is just a weekend, but the Uzbek Community Canada is celebrating Multicultural Screen Festival Taste of Uzbekistan, Nauruz Bayram. It is devoted to all the representatives of Uzbek community and to all other communities who came here to share Uzbek heritage with all of us. Green Festival 2024, Taste of Uzbekistan, has become a good tradition to celebrate no rules, promote Canada's cultural diversity and foster unity and positive interaction among communities. Today I am very happy because we are doing second time this Nowruz festival and every this year coming more people, more MP and most of the members of parliament and everybody happy, all of our community happy. Our Uzbek community start to add in all the Canadian mosaic and uh, we will try to be part of the Canadian uh, multicultural group. The host of the festival, Tony Ruprecht, former Minister of Citizenship and Multiculturalism, delivered two important messages during the event. One of the messages was from the Government of Canada that says, Canada is really a multicultural country, the first multicultural country in the world. We believe in peace and respect for other opinions. The second message was from two presidents of Uzbekistan who said, you are a light, become a light, become an ambassador of Uzbekistan in Canada so that other people can see you and when they look into your eyes they see the light that you have from your country, from the culture of your country, from the language of your country. We had over, we had 10 representatives here from members of parliament and members of provincial parliament, very significant. They don't come to one community so much, but Yadira, Dr. Yadira, was successful, well, with my help, but to get these people to come here, right, and to celebrate this spring festival with us under the umbrella of multiculturalism. And that's why that was so important, that we come together as Canadians, but from other countries, other cultures, other languages, but that's our value as Canadians. We believe in respecting each other from everywhere you come. You become a Canadian, you become part of us. Some honorable guests, including members of parliament, councillors and presidents from various communities, as well as remarkable participants, were awarded with certificates of recognition and traditional souvenirs, hand-painted Uzbek plates. This gesture embodies the spirit of hospitality and appreciation that defines Uzbek community. The program of the festival was incredibly rich. National dancing with demonstration of colorful traditional costumes, singing beautiful folk songs, playing true Uzbek musical instruments. That was a great pleasure for eyes and souls. All these performances were accompanied by presenting and tasting flavors of Uzbek cuisine, from savory pilafs to aromatic kebabs. Such a feast for the stomach and showcase of the diversity and richness of Uzbek gastronomy. But beyond the festivities, this event serves as a platform for dialogue, understanding and mutual respect. By bringing together individuals from diverse backgrounds, the Uzbek community aims to build bridges and strengthen the fabric of our multicultural society. First of all, Canada is a place where no matter who you are, where you're from, um, this place is a, is a country that you should be able to succeed in and you should be able to share your rich, deep, tasty cultural with and I'm, I'm so happy to be here at the Multicultural Spring Festival and to celebrate with the Uzbek uh, community as I always have. It's wonderful to be here with Nadera, Nadera and the Taste of Uzbekistan. Look, the Canadian mosaic, the Canadian multicultural fabric just keeps getting stronger and more dessert uh, diverse and tonight we're celebrating the Taste of Uzbekistan. 
and it just speaks to the, the, the growing Canadian diaspora from all over the world and what Uzbeki Canadians are contributing today here in the city of Vaughan, in the GTA, and across Canada. I've always believed that language, culture, heritage are foundational to who we are as Canadians, but not just assimilating and becoming one, but celebrating all cultures. And when we do that, especially now in the new role that I have, it tells me that we have a, an amazing future. If we keep alive our customs and traditions, and especially the language, the young people will learn resiliency, they'll remember who they are because they know where they came from, and when you know where you came from, it's very difficult to get lost. So I come to these events to celebrate and to remind people how important it is to celebrate your culture and also to have other people that are not of the culture celebrate with you. I love the fact that you guys made this a multicultural event because what I found a lot of the times that I've been in Canada since I was eight years old, so I grew up here, but we tend to cling to our own communities and we don't always get an opportunity to go and see someone else and how you know they, they do things. And it's good to learn from each other, right? It's good for us to know what our neighbors are all about and how they do things and get to know them, right? So that when we are in trouble, we can lean on each other, right? And not just always depend on our own people, the ones that look like us. No, we have to sometimes reach out to those that don't necessarily look like us. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. And if we reach out from the heart, we will be receptive. We are especially grateful to Nadira Yuldashova, director of Uzbek Community Canada, who brought all the communities together, to local volunteers who helped with the site directions and translations, and to the Government of Canada yeah, for much. financial support.